Hey guys, welcome back to the garage. Since I've been doing all these projects on my car, I've got everything taken apart. So this is a really good time to repaint and recoat all the suspension components, especially on my IS300 here, which spent like half its life up in Virginia. So some of the suspension components are all rusted and corroded. And over the years, I think the previous owner that I had before it kind of coated it but some of that spray paint is kind of wearing off so today what I'm going to do is I'm going to prep it all since I've already got it all taken apart I'm going to prime it and then I'm going to just hit it with some rattle can just to reseal the spindle and the dust shield and some of the other suspension components that I've got taken apart right now so stay tuned <laughs> So what I got here is my front two spindles which have signs of corrosion and they've been coated a couple times with spray paint but they're starting to peel off so I'm going to go ahead and hit that with a flak disc just to get rid of that and prep it a little bit. I had those dust shields for my brake conversion that I trimmed so I could fit my big brakes on there so I've got those trimmed up and everything so the, the edges aren't sharp anymore. That one I, I grinded it with a flak disc a little bit on all the sharp edges just to get it clean. I'm going to hit that with a little bit of scratch bright to, to prep it. This one I'm going to hit with that flak disc like I said to clean up all that. Then once I hit that with a flak disc I'll clean it up with a scotch bright and then wipe all this down with a little bit of paint prep and alcohol or acetone just to clean it up. Then I'm going to hit it with a self etching primer just some regular rust oleum and some Walmart black paint that I've got laying around. I have some gloss black, I got some matte black. The matte black I'm just going to hit it with a clear coat afterwards. This is just all junk that I had in my paint box which you know since I don't really care too much about this other than just to hide the rust and keep it from corroding too much I, I'm just going to use whatever paint I have. So I've sanded everything down with the flak disc and the scotch bright just to clean up all the little edges. I got it for the most part pretty cleaned up. I mean there's still coating and rust and all that but you're not going to get to all that stuff on there anyways. So I'm just going to clean it off with some super clean degreaser so it's all nice and clean. Once that's done I'm going to hit it with some paint prep which is that dupa color paint prep that I use. So I'm going to spray it down with that and then clean it up and then I'm going to just hit it with that primer and let that primer dry for a little bit and then coat it with the paint. So the half-ass rattle can project came out pretty decent. Got everything pretty much coated, all the rust and corrosion is all covered, especially on the spindles and everything. I don't know how long this is gonna last, but I guess it was better than what I had before. And at least it'll make cleaning a lot easier now that I've got these coated and you know, we got all the corrosion and the dirt and dust off of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall this on the car off camera and finish the rest of my projects on this car. 
Hey guys, thanks for tuning in all the way to the end of this quick video on refinishing that uh, spindle and those dust shields with just some rattle can. I know it's like a half assed job and uh, to do it right you should be powder coating or base coat clear coating that thing but I was just doing a quick job which anybody can do at home with just stuff that you have laying around the house. So if you guys found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel to check out all my other DIY videos and projects on the IS300, the IS250, or the minivan, go ahead and subscribe to your channel. I post all kinds of DIYs that I do, and obviously this is one of those uh, easy DIYs that you can do at home. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching the video, and I'll talk to you guys next time.